Start here, Henry. Yeah, Lance, just first conference win, first win in a while. What do you think was, was different today than, than in some of the last games? <laughs> Well, I think you know some of the things we've been talking about for some weeks is the ability to defensively creating some pressure on the quarterback, creating some turnovers. We're very, uh, you know, we were disruptive in those ways and got some momentum. I think offensively we, we took some shots again down the field, we made some explosive plays, and got ourselves in a good position early. You know, I think. Um, just under a nine minute drive to open the game. That's about as good a start as we've had in a while. Really proud of the guys there that we were very methodical and productive in that. And, and uh, you know, start the game that way, especially after they defer and give us the football. So, um, again, we had a lot of fine performances. That drive, do you feel like that really did set the tone for the game to open the game? Well, I think it's a confidence builder that we, we could do some things. I, I think it really helped us. and. You know, there's a lot of football to be played, as we could see, and there were some times where you could see the momentum shift. And, and again, we, we answered the bell on some of those things, but overall, it was a great way to start the game. And we talked a lot about the passing attack and how it has improved over the last couple of weeks. What did you see there from there today, and how pleased are you that the explosive passes were really on display? Well, we're able to, you know, get, get the ball down the field. Quinn made another great catch for a touchdown. Um, I thought LJ had his, one of his better games, even though it was out for a bit. Created some things after the catch, great catch on the sideline. Um, you know, we got Trevor Cardell in there, but I also thought Jalen did a great job, which he has, I think, all year, of chucking the ball down to, to Devin um, when something's not there. So again, the ball's being spread out, we're a lot more comfortable. And he said, you know, some of the times now that our guys have been on the field together this long, some of that time they missed in camp and things are starting to pay off for us that I think we found a little more of a rhythm and, and, and finding things that we can be successful at. John? Lance, you guys had 12 tackles for a loss. That's like three games more. Did you, anything you do different? Yeah, I think we're a little more aggressive to this game. We talked about that. I think we mentioned it last week in the press conference that we're behind in sacks and turning the ball over. I think we're, again, we did a great job in securing the ball today and creating those turnovers and some of those tackles for losses. Besides that, I think we put some pressure on the quarterback to kind of hurry some throws that, that helped us in some of those interceptions. So, again, a very aggressive up front. Where I thought we were very disruptive. Dean Miller showed up a few times. DJ Withers, I, I thought, you know, the place with an extreme motor goes hard all the time. Um, JB Brown is a, a guy who's very disruptive when we used him in the blitz game. So we, we had a chance to utilize a lot of those guys to need that score in the future. And then with a win like this, what can your sight be into the Yeah, uh, Well, again, you know, this team's been pretty fragile for a while because. You know, we've been so close, and, and for us to, to have a win and, and have a win of, of this margin is definitely something that we've been waiting and waiting for and, 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 you know, I don't want to say expecting, but wanting to happen if we put four quarters together. And I said this earlier on the, on the post game radio. I thought the game was pretty, pretty well played, clean on both sides, maybe on both sides, maybe other than the last drives by each team. There were a few penalties each, but overall, I thought, you know, for us to have six penalties, and a couple of those were late, I thought it was another game between that ball security, and hopefully these are things that we can build upon as we go play a ranked team next week. Uh, first of all, talk about the game by Kobe Bryant. Yeah, you know, we didn't even know, you know, you know Kobe didn't really start practicing until taking team reps till Tuesday of this week after he was injured at Arizona State. You know, and uh, the one thing about him, he's a highly competitive young man who never wants to miss. And for him to come out and play as well as he did is really great to see. I, I guess I could say just the way, if you know Kobe, it's probably not really surprising because the game's awful important to him. He played extremely physical and aggressive and, you know, he made huge plays for us. And then Houston came in with the third best defense uh, in the conference and you, you were within 10 yards of matching their season average uh, in the first half. Let's talk about the fast start and how that helped you. Yeah, that, like you said, that first drive I thought was was something that was a confidence builder that we were able to, to mix some things in the end run and pass. I thought Jeff and the offensive coaches put together a nice opening plan. Again, then the uh, 
then we had the interception, and then we hit on the, on the, on the deep ball right away. I think it gave us a lot of confidence and momentum to kind of build upon and go. So it was a, it's a very good defense, and uh, for us to have that type of success, I think the only time that we kind of, you know, I know we punted a couple other times we were backed up, but um, probably the one after Cornell's interception where we ran the reverse for negative yards is probably the one that we tried the long field goal that we hoped we could have maybe kind of put it away at that time with a touchdown and did. You were talking about the team's psyche. Could you sense in the locker room the value of this is? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty exciting group in there right now. And, and again, Dave, uh, you know, I, I've said this before, is that this group is stuck together. This staff is stuck together. I'm really proud of them. And again, they're, they're, they're enjoying the victory, and they should. You know, I said before, you, you look all across the country, winning games is pretty hard. And uh, to win college football games in this day and age right now is difficult. And, and for us, we need to embrace this, and it's, it's hopefully one that we can build upon here in the second half of the season. No Tigers today. You talked about how everybody else kind of stepped up. Yeah, we're, we're thin in some spots, you know, and then definitely at safety. You know, Caleb Purdy got some snaps rotating with Taylor Davis, and you know, Caleb this guy that really hasn't played in his career. Taylor Davis starts first time in his career. Um, you know, we have Mason Ellis and the Dye Brothers out. We're, we're down three safeties at this time. And, and um, but it's good to see them. I thought Taylor plays extremely aggressive. It was good that, you know, we can, we're going to need more people to, to get opportunities. So, um, Demarius McGee was also out at corner. Um, Tristan Fletcher was out. Logan Brantley's out for the year. So we're, we're thin in, in, in the back seven right now. With, with healthy bodies, but the guys who played definitely stepped up. How impactful was it having Cornell go there back in the lineup? Today? It was extremely, you know, it was a point where Cor Cornell didn't know if he was, you know, going to be able to go or not. We talked about a lot of different things with him, and uh, you know, he started moving around decent uh, Wednesday's practice, and we thought Thursday moved around extremely well. We thought we'd rotate him in some, you know, and uh, you know, he's a leader of the defense, you know, well respected and to see him get a play like that. It was, you know, for a guy who's missed, it was uh, extremely impactful and a boost to the defense. and something that we'll build upon here now, now that he's back on the field. What did you think of the atmosphere from the crowd today? You know, I, I thought it was very good. We appreciate all the people that came out today and support this team. I know it's been a tough go of it. And, and, and whatnot, but to the to loyal ones that have continued to stay with it and believe in this team, and it's it's really been nice that you know there's um, the people that, uh, that that drop you a note and tell you that they still believe in the direction of our program and what we're doing, and to hear the crowd at, at certain times and big downs, and there's a lot of noise in there. And hopefully, we've given some people reason to come back and others to join in here down the stretch. Pretty big perform from from the defensive line today. Six sacks total from four different players. What was it about the the way you guys played Houston allowed you to get that much pressure? Well, I, you know, I think we did a little more movement and put some pressure on in some different packages. I think our guys we tried to stress a little bit more. Like I said, that we hadn't generated enough, you know, disruption as we needed. You know, we rotate a fair amount of guys, so hopefully we stay fresh and active there. And again, it's a Again, something that we need to continue as we as we, as we go down the second half. That we've got some guys who can show they can be disruptive at times. We've got to make sure that we're there making plays. Yeah, that's for coach.